Hello my dear friends, uh, welcome back again with one of our uh, hope nice videos. Uh, this time I will save you from looking at me while I will explain to you uh, these beautiful pens you are looking at. Uh, these are all Visconti as you have uh, already uh, seen. Uh, some latest collections that I will use to show you uh, the different uh, line variations you can get from uh, the new Visconti in-house made solid gold nibs. Uh, many of you now, I, I'm sure, are aware that Visconti has uh, introduced recently uh, the, uh, its own production in-house uh, of their uh, solid gold nibs. We have two now available, uh, 14 carats and 18 carats gold nib. One is called, the 18 carats is called Giotto, it's dedicated to Giotto, the famous painter, Florentine painter. Then the other one is called Giottino, that means little Giotto, just to differentiate from uh, the 18 carats. But it's not less valuable, absolutely not. Uh, let's start with taking a look at uh, one of these pens, especially I would like to point out the differences in size between an Opera Master and uh, an opera. These two recent uh, releases, here we have uh, the Opera Master Polynesia and uh, on the left side you have the Opera Master Demo. You can see the difference in sides and of course both uh, features the famous double reservoir power filler double reservoir by Visconti. I'm going to open both that has the famous uh, safe cap lock system. Just one little twist and you have the pen closed. And then let's take a look at the two nibs that uh, we are going to talk about uh, uh, now uh, after, after this in little introduction. Here, this one moving is the Giottino, the 14 karat gold one. And here you have the 18 karat, the Giotto. This one is on the Polynesia and the other one is the one that Visconti has fitted inside the Opera Master. I will show you the double reservoir Starting from the new Opera Master, uh, the, the Opera Demo, sorry, not Master, that has this new special difference. When you open the long piston, you have a nice transparent piston, the new one, that is very unusual and so nice to use, especially in a semi-demo pen like this one. You probably know that you just have to dip inside the bottle of ink as this one that's the Visconti one you can use whatever till the section you have to go deep till the section it must be covered totally and then a one single stroke keeping the nib inside the ink and waiting a few seconds for the ink to be sunk inside the pen This new, this, the classic one, like the Opera uh, Master series, has the classic, the one that's many, the most of uh, these uh, special editions with the power filler system, Visconti, has the classic piston in titanium that doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, fear the contact with the ink at all. Same kind of movement, same procedure for the filling system. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Now let's try some of these beautiful nibs. I will differentiate as you can see here from this uh, sheet of paper that I'm going to use 
I have already differentiated the, vi the, um, the five sizes that Visconti offers you. Uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and stub. It's a stub 1.3 basically. Um, let's start with the, with taking a look at the extra fine of both carrots. I will use uh, to start uh, my own uh, Visconti Corsani green octagonal in a wonderful, amazing, I would say, uh, green, green stacked celluloid. Just one little twist and let's go and try it. Visconti extra fine 18 carat solid gold nip I'm sure you all immediately can see how thin the line is or at least it's a classic standard Western extra fine, but uh, thinner, thinner. I, I love it because it's a true, from my point of view, it's a, a true extra fine, as I would wish it to be, uh, actually, from my taste, uh, that I love extra fine. Because you, you can even press a little bit and have some kind of variation. It's wonderful nib. Let's compare it with the 14 carat. Here I'm taking the, the 14 carat from the new uh, Homo Sapiens uh, uh, Demo Stones collection. It's called Stones because on the cap top you have some nice stones that uh, are the same colors uh, of the pen, of the demo pens used, the demo resin used for the pens. And here, let's try. The extra fine. And here we have Visconti extra fine 14 carat solid gold nib. You can see immediately the little slight difference. The nib, I can tell you. It's just a bit softer and so just a bit, I could say wetter, probably, yeah. The line is not so thin as the 18 carat, but still a nice, playful, extra fine. Yeah, love it. And let's pass to try a fine one. First fine I'm going to try is uh, the one fitted in uh, the 18 karat one fitted in this lovely new opera master savanna with the colors of the savanna in Africa. Wonderful. This is a fine. Visconti fine 18 carat solid gold gold nib like the extra fine it's smooth like uh, the, the, the extra fine like all the 18 carat from Visconti you will see it's not um, a very large nib. You will notice uh, after that uh, uh, while we proceed uh, till the broaden stops you will see how they are not so huge in line, so big, so large 
as you may uh, expect from a west from a classic western nib and that's what i personally find uh, new and uh, nice in this uh, uh, set of nibs lovely real lovely let's try the same fine but uh, trying the opera master red demo this is the fine 14 carat Visconti fine 14 carat solid gold nib You probably see the same differences we have experienced just a little bit before when we have compared the extra fine and the fine of 18 in carat and solid uh, 18 carat and, and 14. It's a little bit slightly uh, bigger in size, wetter and soft and a little bit softer. Yeah, great. Let's pass to the medium ones. Let's take the new um, Homo sapiens uh, Tuscan heels. Lovely shade of green. Here we have, let's try a uh, Visconti medium. 18 carat solid gold nib it's very very smooth this is a classic medium not so big as usual Let's compare it with another Homo sapiens. It's uh, the Homo sapiens uh, demo stones. In this case, we have a jade on the top cap. And this is the medium from the 14 carat. Yeah, Visconti. Medium. 14 carat. Solid gold nib. I have to tell you that these 14 carats are quite uh, are, um, are the latest ones, and uh, I really enjoy them. They are smooth, wet. And they are reliable. I mean, the size is exactly what you expect from a fine, an extra fine, a medium. It's really perfect. In fact, I will share with you, I will confide to you that this set of 14 carats solid gold nibs are the ones that I will, I will, I'm going to use uh, very soon for another exclusive collection of mine that you probably whoever follows me knows very well that this tax celluloid ones are my uh, my flagship let's call it this way uh, collections and uh, a new splendid blue one will come very soon and it will be featuring the 14 carat set of solid gold nips but let's go to the try on this beautiful Polynesia uh, Opera Master Demo, the broad nib. That's something you are probably waiting to see because it's not a typical broad. Here we have uh, Visconti. Broad. 18 carat. Solid gold nib probably whoever of you loves 
writing writing with the roads I have to dip in again because of sure it needs more ink writing with roads will notice immediately that it's not that it's not so large but it's always smooth and very reliable love it let's compare it with a 14 carat we have seen before the opera demo and this is the Visconti Broad 14 carat solid gold nib oh wow this probably whoever loves broad nibs will find it more enjoyable than the 18 carats because as you can see it's wet it's quite big not as a real huge broad but for sure you can get a nice signature especially if you call it Stefano look how Stefano comes so nice <laughs> and finally for the lovers of stubs let's try this one from this one of my favorite pens the uh, Homo sapiens uh, blue lagoon wonderful color so warm tone of blue turquoise I hope I will use it well because I'm not so good at using stops but anyway lovely Visconti stab 18 carat solid gold nib I'm not so good at, as you are as I was telling you because you have to be very careful you can't uh, from my point of view you can't uh, write very fast when you use a, uh, a stub nib because you have to be very careful and keep it on the right angle otherwise it can skips as you may have seen but if you take it at four five uh, degrees angle and you keep it both point precisely to make calligraphy and have a good line variation you won't have any skipping and then finally let's try the stub from the 14 carat the, with this lovely opera demo green mm -hmm. that's nice stub 14 carat I even love it more than the previous one on the 18 but each one is different eh? you have to be aware that when whenever whenever you choose uh, a nib there will be always be uh, differences even two five if I choose five same stubs or whatever whatever size of a same uh, carrots and same nib of the same company I will always get differences you even sometimes even huge difference differences it doesn't mean that the nib has not made well it just means that the nib is unmade especially the points and you can't be especially with gold so precise so whenever especially you're ordering a pen from me you can't be sure that I will be testing it 
as much as I can and as much to my abilities. You will rely on my abilities, uh, unfortunately for you. And uh, be sure that you can ask me whatever are your uh, requests, your requirements, your special requirements. If you need it to be wetter, if you need it to be drier, if you want to stop get not to be so wet or you want to just me to test it to be sure. That's something that I always do with pleasure for you. And uh, especially I will try the nib so you, I can even dare to say that you will never get a nib from me that doesn't work properly. You may get a nib that doesn't respect what you were looking for. That's something that may always happen, but you will never get something that doesn't write properly. And so to close up this, uh, this little speech, I will uh, salute you. You will have to look at me this time. And so I hope you have enjoyed uh, this little speech. Uh, and uh, let's uh, see you again another time very soon, I hope to speak about always nips and fountain pens that we all love. Bye.